you sure this is the right place? Of course I'm sure. It's exactly where the guidebook said it was. How old is that guidebook? Rachel? here to check in. Uh, my girlfriend and I are uh, checking in. <laughs> if I can find it, I <laughs> She um, seems to have disappeared. <laughs> Nasty weather we're having here. <laughs> I quit boring people about the weather. Hi, I'm Rachel and this is Tom. Um, we were hoping you had a vacancy for a couple of days, maybe three. I read about this place in my guidebook and um, we would have called ahead and made a reservation, but there wasn't a phone number or an email address or anything, so... We weren't even sure when we drove up here if if it was open. Morning. Beautiful day, isn't it? A lot nicer than when we got here yesterday. Beautiful place you've got yourself here. Although, I can't imagine what it's like to live somewhere so remote. How close are your neighbours? I was just wondering because I saw or heard some of them last night. Out back, in the direction of the barn. Stay away from the barn. It's dangerous. I'm 
sure I heard something. Maybe she was having a swingers party <laughs> and was too embarrassed to admit it. <laughs> oh no, wait, maybe she was out there growing her crops and didn't want to get busted. Ha ha, very funny. <laughs> or uh, maybe she was out yeah, there. Yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> barn last night. That's why she left our breakfast outside our room. I'm telling you, she knows that we know that she's a miserable lying cow. And now she's hiding. <laughs> so our innkeeper doesn't want to reveal that she's a drug baroness or a sex slave. Everybody's got their secrets for one reason or another. Come off it, Tom. You're not telling me that you're not the tiniest bit curious about what's going on with that barn. <sighs> okay, it is a bit strange. Let's face it, this entire place is a little strange. We're out here, in the middle of nowhere, and the only other person we've seen is this odd old woman. Big deal. No, I'm telling you, there's something really weird about that barn. And yes, it pisses me off that we're not allowed to go out there, but everybody else seems to be. Does it matter? <laughs> Come on. Let's get out of here and see some countryside. figure this out now, so can we please just go and enjoy the rest of the day? Ah, just the lady I was looking for. You don't happen to have any champagne glasses, do you? I know it's a long shot, but I thought I'd ask. I remember to bring the champagne, but forgot to bring the glasses. How stupid is that? Here I was thinking I had everything planned and went and forgot something as simple as the glasses. Oh, and dare uh, some ice as well. I can ask Rachel to marry me tonight. I want it to be a night she'll remember. I have glasses. Come with me. Wow. 
Why didn't you ask her about the barn? Isn't it driving you crazy? No, it's not. It clearly is with you. What? Nothing. Don't you want to know why the barn's lit up like a Christmas tree every night? Where are all these people coming from? I would like to know, but... <sighs> all I care about is me and you. It's our last night together before we return home and I want to make it special. Let's have some champagne and see what trouble we can get up to. Okay, honey. Why wouldn't you just come up with a reason not to go to the barn? What? The old lady. If she'd just given us a reasonable explanation of why it was out of limits, we wouldn't be so curious. Do you think she has something to hide? What's the matter? I'm sick to death about talking about this barn. <laughs> it's all I can think about. How about this? We go to the barn later tonight. Then, can we close this mystery and focus on us? There's some things I want to talk about. You want to go to the barn? Okay, I promise when we get back, I'm yours 100%. your soul 